It's the final day before the February break in the K and we got 8 games to go through. My name is Andreas Sashinger and you're watching Daily KHL Update. Our first game is a rivalry. Admiral face Amores. Both teams are battling for the playoffs. The Tigers come off a huge win over reigning champs Red Army and they come out hot for this one as well. Early in the second period, Vlado Shannon receives a cross-ice pass and goes for a one-timer. Great save made by Alex Trushkov. Amor get on the board a few moments later. Hero Raskazov sets up Daniil Paisulin for an easy one. Vlado Shannon doubles the lead late in the period. His twin brother Slava has the only assist on the play. The 2011 World Junior Champion Dennis Golubev improves the lead to 3 0 less than 3 minutes into the third period. They put it out of reach a few minutes later. Igor Rodinkov nets his 12th of the season while Raskazov and Faisal and drop the assist. Evgeny Alekin stops 24 shots for a 6th shot out of the season, and Amora very much in the playoff race with his key 4 0 win on the road. We are now in Neversibirsk, where Sibir play host to Optimobilist. Homeside gets on the board just out of 7 minutes in. Yorki Yakipaka slings it home from the high slot for a power play goal. The Virs is striked back less than 3 minutes later. Peter Holland misses his fortunes goal of the season to make it a 1 1 hockey game. Sibir regained the lead late in the period. Ikaru Rokama gets the puck at the hash marks and puts it past Vladimir Galkin. Tom Belis respond only in the third period. Stan Sexton takes a shot on net. Harry Sattery cuffs up the rebound, and Jeff Platt pushes it in. He goes to overtime. Mikhail Rokma has a chance to win it for Sibir as it pulls Galkin, but he misses the wide open net after that. No matter, Rokma is the only one who scores in the shootout, and Sibir still take it 3 2 on home ice. We move on to Magnitogorsk now, where Matalurk do battle with Avangard. It takes them a while to break the deadlock. Igor Yakovlev throws the puck in the slot meter for the first broken play, and Pavel Durafeyev is unable to bury it from in tight. The Hawks get close to opening up the score, and on a power play soon after that, but Sven Andrzejgata shot goes wide of the net. Igor Martina finally puts Avangard in the lead late in the second period. What a clapper to get a pass Vasily Kosuchkin. Magnitka bring it back to even early in the second period. Former Buffalo Sabre Victor Antipin gets it over the goal line. This one goes to overtime as well, and it's Nikolai Kulamin who gets to be the hero. He steals the puck in the neutral zone and slings it past Vigor Babka for the win. It's 2 1 Metalurg in overtime. We move on to Kazan where Rockbars face Vitez. Homeside gets on the board four minutes in. Mitchell Yudin next is first of the season. They will catch up in a new game for the assist. They double their lead midway for the period. Hero Patrick gets the second assist of the game as Justin Ozavetto hits the twine. Vitez get a goal back before the period expires. Alexei Makayev jams it in from the doorstep. Alex Samet has an assist on the play. Akbars restored the two-goal margin less than a minute into the second period. Rookie Artem Galimov scores his 12th of the season. They improved their lead to 4-1 in the last minute of the period. Matt Fratton converts on a power play with just 38 seconds on the clock. Emil Galimov makes it 5-1 early in the third period as he gets it past Tigris of Rikin and this one is essentially over. Vita set the final score a few minutes later. Svetoslav Grubinshikov scores off a great beat by Alex Salmon. Akbar beat Vita again. This time 5-2 is the final. Our next stop is Moscow. We're here to see Dynamo take on Lokomotiv. The Vers to score first in this one. Igor Averin is his first of the season five minutes into the opening period. The blue and white tied up late in the frame. Top goal scorer of the league, Dmitry Yashkin, scores his 27th of the season. 
Loco got one over the goal line early in the second period, but it's waved up at the meter review. The player was actually offside. A few minutes later, Dynamo get another goal from their top line. This time it's Vadim Shipachov who finds the back of the net, while Yossi Kiatin and Dmitry Yashkin draw the assist. Dynamo put it away nine minutes into the third period. Vladimir Brooklyn redirects it in on a power play. The Calgary Gore is the original shot. Dynamo take it 3-1 on home ice. Welcome to Riga, Latvia, where another Dynamo, Dynamo Riga, is facing Jokerid. And the Jets has come out hard for this one. Captain Pater Regin opens up the score in 10 minutes in with a nice clapper led into a power play. They double it less than two minutes later. Pater Contiala receives a cross-ice pass from Victor Love and roofs it past Alexander Salak. Soon after that, Contiala scores his second of the game and 11th of the year. And Hoppala has the only assist on the play. Riga Solvian is calling inch late in the second period. Cargo Ashton jumps to the slot and veteran Nicholas Redlex finishes the job. Dynamo pulled back to within one five minutes into the third period. Tawi Pavlov makes it a 3-2 hockey game. But Yucker don't let us slip away from them. Steve Moses got his seventh of the year to give us our final. Yucker win 4-2 last this capital. And there's just two scores left to tell you about. Zach Nietzsche scored a hat-trick as Neftekivik beat Sarastal 6-2 on home ice. And there's only one goal to report from the game between Spartak and SPS in Petersburg. Anton Belov scored a assist by Vasily Patkalz and Kirill Marchenko. And that's it for the LKHL update. We're going to take a break for a week now and come back to wrap up the regular season action. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.